The breaking headline from the White House, President Trump demanding the resignation of Tom Price. The Secretary of Health and Human Services is out. He'll be replaced at midnight tonight. It comes after spending hundreds of thousands of dollars of your money on luxury jets. And tonight, that list of cabinet members under fire for spending is growing. EPA Chief Scott Pruitt, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke, and now the head of Veterans Affairs, David Shulkin. Even top Republicans are demanding an investigation at ABC's Mary Bruce on how much of your money, taxpayer dollars, has been spent. And the questions now mounting tonight. As he boarded Air Force One tonight, it sounded like the president had made up his mind about Health Secretary Tom Price. Uh, I'm disappointed in him, but he's a good man, but I'm disappointed. Just minutes before, ABC's John Carl asked the president if Price was going to last. You'll make a decision about whether or not to fire Price today. Just to Probably get... sometime today. Yeah. I'm not happy, not okay? Happy. By the time Air Force One landed, Price was out. A senior White House source tells ABC News the president asked the secretary to resign, and he did. Price took more than two dozen work trips on luxury private jets. I've heard the concerns. I've heard the criticisms. Clearly, um, uh, that we, we got, uh, weren't sensitive to the taxpayer uh, on these instances, which is why I've taken the actions that I've taken. Those flights cost taxpayers more than $400,000. Price promised to personally reimburse the government, but only for the cost of his own seat, just $52,000. Was, was 50, he's paying back $52,000 in the plane's cost? Well, that's unacceptable. Is that enough? No, that's, uh, no, that would be unacceptable. Tonight, five cabinet secretaries are now under fire for expensive travel habits to the tune of more than $625,000. Today, Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke defiant amid revelations he spent more than $15,000 on three private flights. Before we get started, I'd just like to address, in the words of uh, General Schwarzkopf, a little BS uh, on travel. Zinke says he didn't have a choice. That, that no commercial options existed to meet the promulgated schedule. Also now under the microscope, Veterans Affairs Secretary David Shulkin. The Washington Post reporting taxpayers paid for his wife to fly to Europe on an official trip where they took in the sights and attended Wimbledon. Just one month earlier, Shulkin issued a memo telling employees to review their own travel procedures, writing, I expect this will result in decreased employee travel and generate savings. Investigations are already underway into two other cabinet secretaries for their travel habits. EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt, who's also under scrutiny for installing a $25,000 phone booth in his office. And Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, who's accused of taking costly government flights, including that trip to Kentucky where he and his wife viewed the eclipse. And Mary Bruce with us live tonight at the White House. And Mary, we wanted to show viewers at home because there's been enormous turnover in this administration. Among the names on the list, you can see there from left to right, Tom Price, Steve Bannon, Michael Flynn, Sean Spicer, Reince Priebus, among many others out of this administration. Tonight, some Republicans on the Hill have demanded an investigation into the spending here. David, Republicans and Democrats on the Hill are demanding a full accounting of administration travel. And just now, the president's budget director sent out new guidelines to White House officials on the appropriate use of government and private aircraft. David. Mary Bruce, back on this story again tonight. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.